on the screws, obviously. You are probably going to Bermuda, aka if you're not, you're on the wrong ship. But in Bermuda, everyone wants to know, what do I do? Where should I go? Sites to see. And one of the main things to do in Bermuda is bumming yourself on the beach. So what I'd like to do is give you an idea of some of the beaches that you might be interested in, how to get there, so on and so forth. So let's take a look. First of all, when one thinks of Bermuda, the first image people usually have is the beaches. And the beaches in Bermuda, unlike most beaches throughout the world, they are pink sand beaches. Uh, the pink sand, just in case you were interested in how it is made, the pink sand is actually coral that has been crushed and it becomes the beach. Um, there's over a hundred beaches in Bermuda and the beaches just so you know, are all public beaches. They are totally accessible. They close usually at about 6 p.m. Um, even if you are going to a resort, most of the resorts you can use the beaches. Uh, you don't have to pay to use them, but you would have to pay if you wanted to get a deck, uh, beach chair or an umbrella. Um, most of the beaches that I will talk about have, as I said, very clear water, pink sand, and there's some amazing snorkeling opportunities. I'm sharing this with you because I've been to Bermuda probably about 15 times. I have a lot of friends who are from Bermuda. I've asked them, I've surveyed several people. So I'm just sharing with you my opinion. So let's take a look at some of the beaches that we're gonna talk about. Right here is Bermuda, as I said, Bermuda from point A to Approximately point B is only 26 miles long. Um, right now, there are there used to be three cruise spots that you would go to. You would either go to St. George's, which is no longer used. Um, St. George is not a, a cruise port anymore because with ships being so large, the port is too small for these large ships to go into. We have two major ports, though, that are utilized right now. The first is right here, it's Dockyard, okay? And Dockyard accepts the larger of the cruise ships. It's a port that the docking area is large enough or tenderable enough to get to. And with Dockyard, I have it right here, Snorkel Park. This isn't one of the beaches that I'm really gonna talk about. But I do want to let you know that at Dockyard, there is a beach called Snorkel Park, Snorkel Bay, and it is walking distance. We're talking maybe five minutes from where you get off to the ship to Snorkel Park. That, however, being that it is on Dockyard, there is a $5 entrance fee to get in. But again, when you go there, there is food, there's bathroom facilities, there's snorkeling, so on and so forth. The other area, that you will port at is up in this area right here, it's Hamilton. Okay, Hamilton is the capital of Bermuda. We'll talk about that later on. But what I wanted to do is really tell you about a few of the major beaches. And we have Tobacco Bay, Elbow Beach, Warwick Long Bay, and Horseshoe Bay. And they're all listed right here on the map, if you can see. As I start talking about them, what you're going to see for the most part is this area of beaches, Horseshoe, Warwick, um, there's Jobson Cove, so on and so forth. It is all walkable. You can go from one to the next to the next to the next if you want to walk. This is probably about a four mile stretch. So it is walkable if you want to do the walk. Um, all of these are accessible by bus. You can just hop the bus. It does the south road versus the north road. But either way, you can pick up the bus and the buses in Bermuda, they're the pink buses, $1.25 to get on the bus. It's very simple. Just hop on, hop off, okay? Now, next please. The first one that I would like to talk about is in the St. George area. If you dock in Hamilton, or if you dock at Dockyard, what you can do is take a ferry, they run throughout the day back and forth, or again, you can use a cab, or you can use the bus. The cab or the, the bus is gonna take you probably about an hour because of all the stops. The cab will take you about 25 minutes. 
The ferry will take you about 20 minutes or so, and it's a nice way to see the places, the, the, the shore, okay? Tobacco Bay is in St. George's, and St. George's is that, that little town that I said used to be a, a, a docking area, which is now too small. Tobacco Bay is Saint, located in St. George's Parish. This is one of the best snorkeling beaches in Bermuda because it is very enclosed. If you take a look at some of these pictures, and I know the pictures aren't very clear right now because of the lights. If the lights were off, you could see these much better. Would you get the lights, please? If you take a look at it, it is very much enclosed, okay? all through here, which gives you a breaker from the ocean. So because there is this natural breaker, the fish in here, very domesticated. Um, you don't have your big fish, which you don't have to worry about in Bermuda anyway. But it, it's, this is a very good snorkeling area. If you notice, it is a small beach. It is a very small beach. Um, if you have about 150 to maybe 200 people, that's about the limit you would want on that beach or it becomes too crowded. Uh, one thing that is important, you can see it here, you can see it here. Tobacco Bay has facilities for food and bathroom. And that's something that's important to know about beaches in Bermuda because not all beaches have you know, food or restroom facilities. Most beaches also do not have lifeguards, so you're there at your own risk. This is Tobacco Bay from where you get off in the ferry, downtown St. George's. It's about a 15-minute walk to the beach. Next, please. 